Hi everybody, Mark here at Rapid Response, and today on our vehicle showcase, we have a brand new Chevy uh, pickup truck. We're gonna go over it with you. This is a fire department vehicle. We have some T-ions mounted in the grill. We have four of them mounted in the grill. They're mounted on an L bracket, they're duo, so they're gonna flash red and white. Right now, I do have the vehicle in neutral, so, um, so I position three. So we're gonna have our white flashing. When you put the vehicle into park, it is going to change the pattern in the FST bar up there in the visor, and it's going to turn off our white flashing, including the uh, headlight flasher that you see that are activated right now. As we go up a little higher in the vehicle, we have the wheel and uh, visor light uh, that's flashing uh, red-white, as you can see right now. Probably can't pick it up on the video, but there is an Opticom mounted underneath the uh, the uh, LED visor light as well. Since we are in position three, it'll turn on, and when we do go into park, that'll turn off as well. Let's wrap around to the side of the vehicle. We have a TI on mounted here in the fender to give us some intersection lights. We also have another one back here in the side as well. We have very low key graphics, just a reflective stripe across the bottom that has the word fire department cut out in it. A little bit of reflective striping here around the back yet. And then in the very back of the vehicle, we have some uh, hidden chevrons, which are very visible at nighttime because they're reflective. We have some T-ions along the bottom on the bumper. We have our wigwag flashers um, alternating our brake light and our reverse light. And then we also have an RST up there in the back window to give us our higher level uh, uh, rear warning. One thing that's nice about the RST lights, and I'll point out here in the video, is if you notice when we and built these, the modules are spread out across and it actually has some blank spot in between. And if you actually uh, take this vehicle down through Feather, by separating those modules like they did, which is uh, about three inches, let's say, between each one, it actually helps and makes the bar more effective by doing that because you have more off time and more mo each module is more independent. So it's much more visible, believe it or not, by, by doing that. And it works really well. It's a nice, nice setup that they did. Walk around here to the inside. On the inside of the vehicle, we have uh, our console vehicle specific console. It's molded into the dash from Havis. We have the wheel and siren controller, Xantrex inverter, two cup holders, some armrest, and an accessory pocket in there as well, along with the customer supplied um, radio that we, that we installed as well. On the back side here, you have the factory seat that flips down. You can see two people in it. Flip it up, you'll see the Xantrax inverter, which is mounted right there on the side of our uh, box set that we made. I'll take you around here to the other side to show you the inside of that. So this way the customer can still have two people in the back, but they still have room um, to, put, uh, to put some other gear and stuff like that. And they have three shelves here, flashlight and a streamlight holder up there as well. Again, all made um, in-house here at uh, Rapid Response and Just Box It. So simple build, easy, effective, it works. Uh, if there's something else that you'd like to see, please comment below. It is a chilly day out here, so we're making this video a little short. Um, if you anything else that we can do for you, let us know. Make sure you stop in, make sure you get a tour. We'd be more than happy to give you a tour of our facility. Check out our other social media sites as well, and visit us at 911rapidresponse.com.